Hey guys, it's Puffer Nasty here, and today I am doing a stream of Chaos and Conquest, which is a Warhammer-based game. Uh, it's actually a mobile game, but they have, they brought out a PC application for it um, about a month or two ago, and um, I've been writing a few sort of guides and things for the guilds or sort of alliance um, that uh, alliances that I'm associated with in game for a while and I decided that I would make a video tutorial now that I can run it on my PC. Um, I'm not used to doing these so much. Um, if I'm too loud on my microphone or uh, too quiet, um, turn it up or turn it down because um, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> um, so in this game, um, there are. Uh, I'm not going to go over too much of the basics, but essentially, as with all mo with most sort of, of these mobile games, you know, you've got three different aspects um, which can f uh, make or break, or you know, three things you need in order to win the match, uh, win the game, uh, or be successful in it. Uh, first, money that helps. Yeah, um, yeah. Oops. You know, some people have lots of money, some people don't. Um, um, the in this game here, I would highly recommend the pledges, uh, thirty day pledge of prosperity. Um, it is, yeah, I, I see it as almost sort of mandatory for if you want to be um, successful um, in this in this game. Um, yeah, you know, obviously, if you spend more, you can get more. If you uh, don't, um, then you won't. Um, the other thing is time. Um, you know, you need to put in a decent amount of time um, to play it. It is a game that runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It does not stop. Um, so if you, when you stop, um, it keeps going. Uh, there are, however, uh, ways to um, use your your time more efficiently. And I will, if this video goes well, then I'll, I'll might go over sort of um, uh, ways to use your time more efficiently. Um, uh, but uh, but a lot of a lot of using your time more efficiently comes down to the third um, and most important um, sort of uh, factor, which is uh, the one which is more which is easier to control, which is uh, your skill or knowledge of the game or uh, strategy or whatever you want to call it. You know, um, so um, and and that and that will affect your yeah that will affect your time management and how efficiently you do things. Um, so today though, what I'm going to talk to you about, um, uh, because I can help you with the that third aspect, um, you know, the money and the time, um, that's, you know, that's up to you as individuals, <laughs> um, but, um, I can help you a little bit with, um, with the, uh, the management of that uh, to a certain degree. So what we're going to be looking at is, uh, most people spend a huge amount of time stuck on tier three. Um, I believe that this uh, probably includes sort of the majority of players in the game who don't spend a lot of money. Um, and those are the players that I want to help. So um, in this game, we have four different, um, well, five buildings that can build um, different sort of units. Uh, so this is where you can build your defense. Um, we won't be going too much into defense today. You've got your bestiary where you can uh, build, well, tier 3 you can build giants. There's <laughs> not a huge amount of choice there. Um, you've got your dungeon where you can build um, tier 3 ogres and slaughter brutes. Um, so I'll just say this here, ogres are vastly superior to slaughter brutes. Slaughter brutes are essentially broken at the moment um, and ogres are just unnaturally good um, so we've got um, yeah if we just take a brief sort of look at their stats here um, they are a ranged unit that does 720 damage with 22 ranged attack uh, that's actually w one of the m higher damage tier two uh, tier three units um, also as well it's got some um, high armor or reasonable armor at 38 and very good health at, at 1500 um, so also it's a load capacity of 70 which is the highest of any of the tier 3 units this actually uh, and it's got speed 7 which is uh, average 
you know, it's, yeah, it's solid. It's not fast, it's not slow, it's normal. Um, this makes it extremely useful as it's a bit of a jack of all trades. Uh, and I would strongly encourage you to uh, pump these out like crazy. Um, also as well, it's monstrous infantry, which that has a lot of advantages um, that I will go into later. Um, yeah, so Chaos Ogres, great. Slaughter Brutes. Um, now the big problem here is that their, their damage is not that high. Uh, they've got melee attack 22, melee damage uh, 560. So that means that they're doing less damage than what the Ogres are. Um, that's because they're essentially a tanking unit. Because they've got, they've got 50 armor and 1000 health. The problem with that is, is that uh, Giants have like 1800 health and uh, like 38 armor or something. Um, and so Giants are better at tanking. Also as well, their morale is, uh, is currently at 40, which means that they actually won't tank um, because of a mechanic that was changed, pre changed in a previous patch. So you can't actually get them to tank for you. So that makes them pretty, you know, they're, they're a tank that can't tank. Um, so Slaughter Brutes um, at present are useless. Um, Chaos Ogres though, are they're, they're the boss. Um, build lots of them. Um, over here, we've got Hell Cannons and Chaos Warriors. You don't unlock Chaos Warriors until uh, Keep 20. Um, when you do, they are the, by far the best Tier 3 unit. By, by the, the best tier, tier 3 unit that you can produce. Um, by far, by a significant margin. Um, melee damage 1000, melee attack 37. Um, that is just significantly better um, than anything else. Because remember those, uh, uh, the Ogres. The Ogres had 720 damage. Um, so, you know, this is still sort of about a third more damage than what the Ogres are doing. Um, but the Ogres also only had 22 um, hit chance. Whereas these guys got 37. That's, um, that's about what, a 70% um, increase. So you got 70% more chance to hit and around sort of 30 35 percent more damage uh they're just awesome um you know add and of course they've got reason, quite reasonable armor 44 armor thousand health um health is health is, is their weakness um but the um 44 armor that's almost as much as the slaughter brute which had a uh, 50 um, and the slaughter brute's a tank um these guys actually do have high morale though uh 56 so you, you could potentially tank with them if you wanted um but again um giants are better at it. Um, and I'll go into the other reasons why you wouldn't want them to tank later. Um, their one downside is speed of six. That is their, uh, they are a little bit slow, but not hugely so. Um, but the main thing is, is that you don't get them until uh, keep level 20. And um, yeah, the, uh, the other thing that I'll note here is that they are infantry. Um, the ogres were monstrous infantry. These guys are infantry. Um, and so they share a lot of um, a lot of sort of specializations and rituals and uh, things. So yeah, just, uh, you know, just noting that, and I'll come back to that again later. Um, we've got hell cannons. Um, hell cannons. You build that. You build as many hell cannons as you can until you can build chaos warriors. Um, ranged unit. Um, pretty much the thing with hell cannons is that they are. <laughs> They do great damage, uh, 750 damage, um, 22 range attacks, so they do more damage than the Ogres. Um, but however, um, if they do get into melee co uh, combat, which um, I won't go over the combat system, but it can happen. Um, if they are forced into melee combat, they've only got 30 attack and uh, 60 damage, which is virtually nothing. Um, they do however have 26 armor and 1800 health, so they can take a bit of a, a hit um, but their damage is just uh, yeah it's negligible uh, if they get forced into combat but the main drawback of them uh, is that they have speed five so those chaos warriors have speed six um, and they were slow these guys are speed five so that's uh, amazingly slow um, and that is the big restriction of them and why uh, later on you know like I've got 1,000 108 um, thousand of these and yet I generally don't use them much because they're just too slow. Um, or at least not anymore, anyway. Um, 
Yep, so that is the training ground. So training ground, you pumping out hell cannons and um, until you get chaos warriors. And here we've got the uh, chaotic rift. And so while producing, and this is all, bear in mind this is all for tier 3, you may see that I do have tier 4 units available. Um, here we've got the different types of demons. So I won't go into the tier 2 demons, but um, basically we've got pink horrors, which are the first demons that become available. And because they are the first, you know, because you can otherwise only produce tier 2, and these are the first ones that you get access to, and I think about keep level 13, um, yeah, make them. Yeah, make them. They're tier 3, they're better than tier 2. Um, however, you will notice here their range damage, 475. That's higher than their melee, so they're a ranged unit. Um, 475 damage, 28 ranged attack. And then you think back to the Ogres, which were 720 damage, and 22 ranged attack. Um, so that's, uh, I mean, that's that's sort of about fifty percent more damage, um, and but uh, they, you know, the the uh, these guys do have a little bit more um, uh, ranged attack, but uh, the ogres are, you know, trumping these guys by a long way, especially when you consider just nineteen armor and thirteen hundred health. Um, similarly, the plague bearers of Nurgle. So uh, you get these guys at about, I think, f keep 15 or something like that. I can't remember. Keep 14. It looks chaotic. Rift 14. So um, these guys are oh, the uh, the pink horrors, just speed 6. Likewise, these guys speed 6, so they're also slow. Um, both, th both of these are unit type infantry. Um, armor 25, health 1050. Uh, you know, when you when you're thinking about you know comparing them to those ogres, um, it's not so great. Um, when you compare them to the um, you compare them to the pink horrors, you see 475 melee damage. Um, that's higher than the 350 range. That means they're a melee unit. Um, just 22 hit chance. So their hit chance, uh, their melee attack, is lower than the ranged attack of the pink horrors. Um, so the Pink Horrors are doing slightly more damage. Um, well, they're going to hit more often and do the same damage. Um, yeah, so the Pink Horrors are slightly better, kind of. Um, the Pink Horrors, I think, had um, slightly less durable. I can't remember, but anyway, they're you know they're basically Pink Horrors and uh, Plague Bearers are sort of roughly sort of similar. Um, you got your Blood Crushers of Corn. Now, these guys here, melee attack 37, melee damage 550. So, they're, they're hitting significantly more often um, than the um, than e either the Plague Bearers or the, um, the other guys, uh, or the um, Pink Horrors. And as well, they're doing more damage at the same time. Um, they're just, yeah, better. Um... 42 armor, 950 health, um, you know, roughly sort of about as durable as the um, the other two. You know, it's nothing, it's not a significant difference. They're uh, maybe a little bit more durable. Um, but then speed 8, you know, when you consider that the, the others are only speed 6. But the big difference here is that these are cavalry. Um, I will go more into that later, but basically they are significantly better than the Plague Bearers and the uh, Pink Horrors. Um, they're just doing significantly more damage, um, or a decent amount more anyway, um, as well as being fast. And fast being fast makes them useful, uh, much more useful for farming. Um, however, um, yeah, they are cavalry, and we'll come back to why that is an issue. Uh, Demonettes of Slanesh. Uh, let's look at the picture. They look cool. Um, now... Big thing here, infantry. So they fit in with the Chaos Warriors um, and the, uh, the the Ogres, um, which I'll come back to in a sec again. Um, so melee attack 37, that's the same as the Blood Crushers. Melee damage 600, that's 50 more than the Blood Crushers. So they're actually doing more damage than the Blood Crushers, but only slightly more. Um, Armor 19, health 1000. Uh, this actually makes them uh, much less durable than the Blood Crushers, as they've got around about half the armor and only 5% uh, 
or six percent or something more health. Um, speed seven, so they're still you know like so they're actually normal speed. They're faster than the plague bearers and pink horrors. Um, in general, the demonettes of Slanish and blood crushers of corn are both superior units to pink horrors and plague bearers. Um, however, you cannot unlock them um, until a higher keep level, so that sort of makes sense um, as to why they are superior. Um, and you want to start producing these as soon as you can. Now, the Blood Crushers of Corn and Demonettes of Slanish are very similar, though. You know, they they're doing roughly sort of similar damage. Um, you know, Demonettes doing slightly more, but slightly less durable, slightly slower. Um, but the demonettes are also infantry, and that's that's where the big thing comes in for tier three, which is that your demonettes of Slanish are infantry, your chaos warriors are infantry, and your chaos ogres are monstrous infantry. Now the reason why that's important is because if we go to our champion skills. On my fancy stuff, so that you guys, you know, so that I look cool. Um, so, infantry training speed increases production speed of all infantry and monstrous infantry. So, this one talent applies to both infantry and monstrous infantry. When we go down to the combat related talents, oh, it's disconnected me. Yeah. Be back soon, I'm sure. There we go. That's weird, it just took off the other ones but didn't equip the new ones. Anyway. So um yeah, so if we look at something like Unholy Accuracy as well, increases attack for your infantry and monstrous infantry. So all of these talents here, um, we have infantry and monstrous infantry are lumped together. Um, and then cavalry, monstrous cavalry, and chariots are all lumped together when it comes to production speed or anything you know from the talents. We've got monsters, monstrous beasts, and war beasts are likewise lumped together. This means that we can we can go through and we can specialize for infantry training speed one and infantry training speed two. So infantry training speed two, 30 points to get plus 75 percent increased production speed or training speed. Then we add to that with our infantry tra training speed one which is 28 percent Suddenly, we are producing our Chaos Warriors, Demonettes of Slanesh, and uh, Chaos Ogres at two times the speed, and we've only had to spend 40 talent points in order to do so. Um, likewise, when we put points into Unholy Accuracy too, we're, we're, we're affecting all three of those units to give them plus 55% attack. And it's only cost us 30 talent points. This means that we can, we then, we can then specialize for this particular unit, um, you know, for these unit types to make them better, you know, to make them stronger, uh, tougher, and to produce them faster. Um, because we don't have to spend as many talent points comparatively. If, for example, we have Blood Crushers as well, um, then we would need Infantry Training Speed and Chariot and Cavalry Training Speed um, in order to, to, to produce them quickly. If we want them to be hitting hard, with sturdy, we need Sturdy Lancers too. And so suddenly we're, we're spending 60 points, or 70 points, on... Um, 
well, 80, 80 points, 80 points even, sorry, because we've got 30 here, 30 here, and then um, 10 in the, um, the tier one of infantry um, uh, training speed. So we're spending 30, 60, 70 points here to get double the training speed and plus 55% attack. To do that with cavalry as well, we've got to double that figure essentially. Um, and so that's that, that's what, that's the big benefit of, of running those three troop types. Um, now you'll always have sort of giants at tier three as well. So you know if you if you did want to add in sort of slaughter brutes or something, um, you know if the slaughter brutes got a buff or or, or for hell cannons before you get um, before you get um, chaos warriors, right? You've got hell cannons. You know, you're producing hell cannons, which are monsters, and so and so your monsters and your and and your monstrous beasts for the giants. You've got monstrous beasts for giants. So, so then you can specialize into two troop types for your monsters and monstrous beasts. Um, yeah, for your yeah, basically for your monsters and for your um, for your infantry. Um, and then, yeah, when you get Chaos Warriors, you've got these three t unit types that all benefit from just one set of talents. And the thing is, is that you don't... Although the um, the talents down here, Unholy Accuracy 2, Sturdy Lances 2, and Cruel Lashes 2, those are significantly more efficient ways of spending your talent points than all of the, um, the prior... Uh, talent points that you can spend um, that are troop specific um, although these are the most efficient ones there are um, you know there are sort of unholy accuracy one you know sturdy lances one cruel lashes one um, keen blade one monstrous blows one and crushing impact one and so with the with those extra points that we've freed up by not diversifying so much we can use those points to put them into um, these other sort of uh, killing, you know, these other buff skills. Uh, or alternatively, if we don't have, you know, as many points available, it just means that we can get that infantry training speed as well as our unholy accuracy. Um, yeah, so now the, the other thing that we can potentially do is we've got Aura of Chaos, which is... Um, Increases the attack of all troops when your Chaos Champion leads them into battle. So only 20 points, but you do have to spend a few points to get there. Um, and it gives you 25% um, Aura attack bonus, and that applies to everyone in your Champion's March. So um, this is not necessarily the most efficient of talent points, but but however, it's very, very good if you have a very diverse um, sort of uh, yeah group of... Um, if you have a very, if one of your marches is very diverse, um, also as well there are um, armor talents that you can get as well. Um, but here we've got um, a naturally thickened hide too, which is something that you can give to your tanks to give them plus ninety percent armor. But it costs you fifty talent points. Um, this is something that is particularly good for PvP, uh, but less so for PvE, for uh, when you're sort of farming armies and things. Um, but a very, very good skill for PvP. Um, but you need to... Um, uh, your army... Yeah, 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 it's. I'm not going to get into PvP because... Uh, I'm not going to explain too much about the PvP aspect because you, you need a lot of troops and... Um, you need to sort of tailor your armies. Um, you know, PVE is just a lot easier to explain. So, um, yeah. So, so, so basically, what what you're looking to do is you want to be producing demonets of Slanesh. You want to work towards demonets of Slanesh, chaos giants, hell cannons, and then chaos warriors. Once you get to, to keep level 20 and slaughter brutes uh, uh, sorry and um, chaos ogres once you um, as soon as you can um, I believe you need to to unlock slaughter brutes to advance to the next um, technologies and things 
but um, yeah, otherwise you just unlock them and then you never actually produce them ideally. Um, since yeah, they used to be decent, but um, they got changed. Well, yeah, ogres got buffed and the slaughter brutes got um, nerfed. Now, the other thing that's really important here is your battle rituals. Um, so here you're generally speaking the damage rituals so like say keen blades here um, keen blade oops, did that by accident um, so keen blades um, crushing impact which affects chariots and uh, cavalry and monstrous blows um, these are generally uh, they're they're gated behind a high keep level However, Cruel Lashes, Unholy Accuracy, and Sturdy Lances. These are not gated behind, um, oh, I've done it again, but behind um, high levels, uh, behind high keep levels. And what you want to do is you want to focus on getting these to level 10. Because if you see here, the, the first levels only give very small increases. Um, but as you get deeper in, so here we're going up by 1%, 2 2%, 2%, 2%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 15% 5 increase from level 9 to level 10. Um, the duration that it takes is, is reasonably long, but the, um, that, that increase is huge. And so you want to focus on a specific sort of uh, skill and go deep into it and you want to specialize that's what this being efficient in this game is all about specialization rather than diversification so <clears throat> um, obviously if you can go and get everything but um, yeah, it's, yeah <laughs> that allows you to diversify but if you um, yeah you want to you want to go deep into particular skill um, skill trees so Initially, until you get Chaos Warriors, you, your monsters and your infantry are important. Once you get Chaos Warriors, though, because they are significantly better than everything else, you want to pump as much as you can into boosting your Chaos Warriors. Now, because of how combat works, Chaos Warriors are DPS units, not tanks. Demonets of Slanish are DPS units, not tanks. And uh, Chaos Ogres are DPS units, not tanks. They could be tanks if they were melee but, and had higher morale. But <clears throat> because of that, these three units, what you mainly want to focus on is not so much the defensive aspects, right? So you're not focused so much on their armor. You're not focused so much on their health. Um, I mean, these are great things to pick up, you know, the, don't get me wrong. Um, and you're definitely not focused on their morale. Um, if anything, you, you actually don't want to increase their morale. Um, because of how the tanking works, you, in general, don't want to touch your morale. Do not level your morale um, until you have put some thought into into it because it may if you haven't leveled your morale it may allow you more flexibility in the future once you understand the game mechanics well um, instead you want to focus on your damage skills your unholy accuracy your keen blades um, and for your monsters your cruel lashes and your monstrous blows however um, in saying that Giants are tanks, and giants are monstrous beasts, so you want to, for monsters, a naturally thickened hide and monstrous vigor. So your, your armor and your health are extremely important. Um, but uh, because they're all, you know, because you're relying on hell cannons earlier, whatnot, the uh, cruel ashes and monstrous blows are important too. Um, you do, again, you don't need to put points into bestial rage for extra morale, because your giants already have much higher morale than all of your other units. Um, the only time that you would need to put points into this would be if, for example, 
my Chaos Warriors, which have 56 uh, morale, and then my Giants have 64, I think. So if I had a, if I maxed out the morale on the Chaos Warriors, right, and gave them plus 40% morale, then my Chaos Warriors might end up tanking instead of my Giants. Um, and I would have to increase my Giants morale in order to keep up. Uh, which is why you want to not tweak your morale um, for now. Particularly as you, in the future, you may inst want to, instead of having your monsters tanking, you might want to instead boost your cavalry to tank for when you have Chaos Knights. As if you can get your Chaos Knights to tank instead of your Chaos Warriors, um, then Chaos Knights are, um, are very durable and they do high damage. Um, yeah, so yeah, so don't um, don't touch that too much yet. But anyway, the yeah, basically the you know, here this is affecting your infantry and your monstrous infantry. So you know, we, we divide it into those three sets, and so we want to specialize. Specialize in Demonettes of Slaanesh, Chaos Ogres, and Chaos Warriors. Um, and then, you know, produce giants because you produce giants. Um, when you get to Keep 21, you research Gore Beast Chariots. A lot of people look forward to this. However, Gorby's char Chariots, they do have their place. They do have their place, but the... When you look at their stats, right? They've got 450 range damage, 300 melee. So that means that they're a ranged unit. And then you say, wait a sec. 450 range damage and 29 ranged attack. My Chaos Ogres are doing 720, right? I mean, that's that's a huge increase. That's, uh, what, like a 60, 70% increase or something? Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's about a 60% increase in damage, um, although they do have um, less ranged attack. Now, there is a modifier for higher tier units, whereby a tier 4 unit um, attacking a tier 3 or defending against a tier 3 unit um, will have bonus damage um, and will receive less damage and things like that. However, the it generally works out, in my experience, that Chaos Ogres and Gore Beast Chariots do about the same damage. Um, maybe a little bit more for Chaos Ogres, but th that may also just be because I have um, higher, um, have higher level of um, damage ritual for the Ogres. But so, so then uh, the thing is, is that these are chariots, right? So these, these are these are not only so because they're chariots and because they're tier four, because they're tier four, we produce them slower. Tier 4 units require more resources to produce and are produced slower. They, um, yeah, they like to give you an example. Um, Gorby's Chariot. Uh, I don't have any points to in specializing, specialized in this, but to produce 760 Gorby's Chariots will take me 24 hours. 23 hours, 59 minutes. Um, comparatively, if I went to if I went to um, blood crushers of corn who I also don't have you know they're uh, cavalry so I also don't have any points in it would take me 14 hours and 30 minutes to produce the same number of uh, units so I'm spending nine and a half extra hours to produce Gorby's chariots than what I would um, a tier 3 unit but they're not actually doing more damage than the tier 3 units. Now, they'll do more damage than Chaos Giants, because Chaos Giants are tanks. But 
Um, on that basis, they're not hugely useful. They have their uses, and I'll, I'll go into those in a sec, but the Chaos Giants, I believe, are, are a more efficient way to operate. Um, the Gorby's Chariots, where, like, so I, I would recommend, although you unlock the, need to unlock them, I would recommend continuing to build Chaos Giants instead um, of Gorby's Chariots, um, which is not a popular opinion, as um, everybody wants to get Tier 4, but um, Chaos Giants are very durable. Um, yeah, they're very durable, they're tanks. They're also the, the units that, if you do PvP, the units that are going to be dying. And so they are the units that you need to be replacing. Um, on defense, they're, they're the units that, that, that take the hits. Um, so that then you, the more Chaos Giants that you have, the less of your Chaos Warriors will die, um, and thus the Chaos Warriors will be able to hit back at, your in, at the enemy uh, when on defense uh, in PvP. So, um, and, and of course, you'll, you'll, have mu you'll have a lot more Chaos Giants than... Um, than what you will Gorby's Chariots, and so their 32 armor, 1800 health, um, you know, they're less durable, well, slightly, yeah, 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 they're less durable than the Chariots, but the Chariots are ranged, and so because the, the Chariots are ranged, um, the Chariots won't actually, and because the Chariots are tier 4, that the Chariots won't actually suck up those hits if somebody does attack you. They'll be in the rear with the gear, you know, shooting arrows from their from their chariots, um, rather than being up front, um, you know, taking hits uh, for the team. Um, you know, the giants are team players. Chariots, not so much. Um, so produce giant, continue to produce giants rather than chariots. Now, the, but the, the 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 one use, the the big use of Gorby's chariots, once you do get them, is that. If you have enough money to get a full march of tier 4, and I say if you have enough money, because it takes a very long time to build a full march of tier 4. Um, you know, the, uh, with full, with full uh, buffs, I can build, eight, uh, like with full speed uh, increases, I can build 850 tier 4 in 15 and a half hours so I think I'm I'm making about uh, I think it's about 1300 per day and now given given that my march capacity is um, for a regular march uh, uh, for me it's uh, about 170 180 but or 176 but the for for if someone didn't have the the same items I have it would be about 150k I think or at, you know, at sort of keep 22, 23. Um, and so you actually need to have a lot of tier 4 in order to to get a full march. And the, uh, so, so, so you kind of need to be, be dropping a bit of warp stone to build them. And if you were to build a full march of Gorby's chariots, uh, that would force them into melee, and then they would use these great armor and health stats. Um... And yeah, their melee attack is still, uh, you know, still quite decent too because they've got so much higher melee attack. Um, even though the melee damage is low, um, they're actually not so bad in melee. And so, if you sent a whole march of Gorby's chariots, um, then that's that's actually re relatively strong um, because of that tier four bonus um, and because of how durable they are with high armor and high health. Um, so yeah, if you're spending money, then yeah, if you, it, the, getting Gorby's Chariots helps you to get a full march, either of Gorby's Chariots or a full march of sort of once you get to um, tier 2, uh, to keep level 22, and you get Flesh Hounds of Corn, um, and you get um, Gorby's Chariots, and you get um, Mutilith, Gor Gor um, Mutilith Vortex Beasts. If you can have a full march of tier 4, then you can you can actually get your Mutilith Vortex Beasts to tank for you. You've got 64 morale, so they'll go in front, but any Tier 3 units will go in front of them in combat. That's why you have to have a full march of Tier 4 in order to get, actually get these guys tanking. 
Um, and when they do tank, they're 50 armor, 1500 health. Um, they're, you know, they're bosses, you know, they're, yeah. Um, and, and they're doing more damage than the, um, than the Gore Beast chariots too. But, um, and so that, that's, that's the kind of purpose of the Gore Beast chariots is that it increases your number of, of tier four units and thus you can potentially fill a march of tier four earlier. Uh, but if you want to get bang for your buck, Chaos Giants, I believe, are the way to go. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, that's um, yeah. That's uh, it turned out into a much longer video than what I was expecting. Um, I hope that this is of use to people. Um, if it is, please um, say in the comments if it's been helpful to you or if you think that it was just a you know 40 minutes of um mindless babbling and um you know whatnot um you know if people think that it's useful i'll i'll do another video if people um you know for maybe sort of things like equipment or uh you know how to build a an effective march um you know sort of march compositions and things like that um there are a lot of things within the game that um you know, people can sort of optimize a little. Um, uh, one, one, one big thing that I'll add um, just before I go to is make sure you level your champions. Um, a lot of people that uh, that don't actually level their champions, and I mean these warlord buffs that you're getting when your champion is defending your city, or or when you're attacking somewhere, are huge. Um, you know, like here I've just got the chaos sorcerers. Um, I've got my good. My good um, heroes are, uh, are busy elsewhere, but um, you yeah. know, but yeah, like you know, having like you, everybody's got a chaos sorcerer, and they are a huge buff, especially for when you are reliant on um, uh, hell cannons as your primary damage dealers. Anyway, um, thanks all for watching, um, and yeah, comment uh, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed the stream. Cheers.